Yeah. Um, so I've got metal in my right leg and yeah. my tip and yeah. fib. Just a plate and two screws on the medium malleolus. Yeah. 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 Your body's not too happy about still having that. Is, are these plates going to come out at some point? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of pain. Yeah. So I've had it for five years. And yeah. this summer maybe I'll get it out because my skiing's getting quite yeah. not progressing. Yeah. Bit. Okay. No wonder if I'll get a good test. See, <laughs> if we ask the subconscious mind, think of ourselves as an entity made up of at least two, no, a person is made up of at least two entities representing the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. But give them two different separate identities. The subconscious mind, we'll call that the me, because it involves the body, and we're going to call the conscious mind the I. The role of the I is to support the me, to go along with it, to help it out, to have it uh, work with it. Now, at the moment, these plates means that the me is not happy about these plates. So now, if, it, if the I, with, his, with its discernment and its intellectual properties, can help support the me, that's what I mean by becoming a higher version of yourself. The, the thing I said at the very beginning, why do I ski? I want to make sure that I have more and more resources to look after myself in a way that actually brings me something positive in my life. Okay, so let's look at you right here. Okay, 20. This is like a 24.5 is something like this called vect vector orthotics it's actually made in uh, somewhere in the north of england and it's actually a podiatric product very interesting and here i'm going to use this cradle which is a rather small one even though that foot because there's no we don't put two different size cradles on people and here's here's the interesting part okay the idea is to see what the body will like. So here I've got some little adjustments here and these are like angles. You see this is like it says here two degree right foot size D which is the size of the cradle so we can snap in various degrees. Okay two four and six so we're already going to start correct the thing the alignment here and for some people okay may need four foot posting these come in several degrees but how do you know what to put on people? You can do a visual assessment and you back it up with a kinesiology test. If the body doesn't like it, it's not good. Okay? Now, I know that there are some pretty swanky places in town where, where you've got computers doing this, but computers do not ask the, the subconscious mind. This is a hands-on, person-to-person system, just the way you work, okay? Like, you know, so I'm going to put Joe on this. I have to agree with you, Bernie, because you did mine years ago, and then I had some swanky ones, but I could never ski in them. Yeah. Your ones are much better. Yeah. <laughs> Here I'm going to put two on the left. You see, when I, sit, when I told her, pronate your feet, the whole idea of these orthotics, you're going to have to be strong, normal, pronation to edge, supination, okay, you want to be strong in all three, so that there's no, the whole idea behind this is actually to take down tensions in the, in the, in the joints and in the ligaments, because if, for example, when you pronate your foot and you show a weak muscle test, it means that there's a bit of kinks in the, in the joints of the feet that can be, uh, that we can re relieve through this. So that's the whole idea because how, this is how we're going to start aligning. Look straight ahead. Push up. Great. Both feet inwards. Push. Both feet outwards. Push. Perts there. Now I'm happy. Okay. So that's the first thing. Okay. That we would do. This orthotics structures the medial part. That's how it removes the distortion on the joints. Mm -hmm. Whereas most skiing orthotics they wrap, that's really the way they kind of hold the foot. My ones would, would support medial. 
and you can really feel the difference with that. That was the problem I had in the other orthotics yeah. I had, is that it really cramped my foot. It did feel like it was being wrapped. Wrapped, yeah. 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 Because this is like a wrapping philosophy. Mm -hmm. Everybody in, in the ski industry seems to be on that wrapping model. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a medial support okay, system. Whereas here we want to make it functional so that your, your body structure is operational. <coughs> the next stage is that you'll get in there. Do you, you need ski, ski poles or something to sort some shoulder to hold on to? Okay, get in there, but do not lose the orthotic if you can, Joe. That's it. And then here again. Okay. So let's just set Joe. Let me hang on this one. Your foot's not on that one very well. That the heel area. Uh, let, let me it feels see. okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here's the issue. Now I had you testing good on the ground, the level ground, and I want to continue because I I need to have a secure starting point with a good test, a good muscle test. Okay. If the muscle test is not good, then I'm in the dark for the rest of the procedure and I cannot conduct it. So now I'm going to push up. Yeah, you push up me. Okay. Now, Joe, do something interesting. Lean mm -hmm. back a little bit. Lean back. Push. Okay. Now come a deep, a deep flex forward. Push up. Now weak. You're weak, normal, mm -hmm. and deep flex forward. You're strong, leaning back. Okay. The reason for that is because we took you off the horizontal surface, we took, and we put you on an angled surface. And I'm going to apply a recipe okay, come out right there. Okay, so what it means is that the ski boot has got a ramp. The heel is higher than the toe. So you, what was on the level ground, and you can see here, even the ramp, mm. now we are in an angled situation. So basically it's undoing the, the orthotic in some way. Good is, I will flash with the lasers where your fingernails are. And, and what we're looking at mm. is to have the same amount of space, same amount of flesh here, okay? Let's imagine that to go flat, you have to make an effort bringing your knees in, especially the left one, okay? Mm -hmm. So that little tension, and this is like a rotation of the femur, it's pre-rotated all the time, okay? So you can't really be relaxed, tired from all day. You, you, this, this is starting to ease off the compensation and you catch an edge and you don't know why, okay? The idea is that you ride flat when you're relaxed and natural. I'm checking if the hips are square here I actually see a bit more hip mm. and here a bit less so even though we had seen this left foot I might be tempted to correct that one because if I correct that one I'm gonna bring the hips across so that the two hips are smack cleanly across the two feet that they're not you're not bearing more weight on one side than the other now how do I know that I look at this and I'm gonna try with muscle test and I'm going to see what I get. Okay, this is the complete full-on service. Most guests don't bother going all the way with the wedges, but if you want to be perfectly, have... that's made quite a big difference. I feel for me, and I know that when I've been skiing, I've been with some of the ski instructors who said I come in a little bit, and I yeah. know it's not because of the glute weakness. I know it's not because of that, but I felt like that was before I had any orthotic in there. Yeah, so... and it's usually when we show the universe without tension that we realized we had some before. Yeah.